Yeah, I'll react to that, sure. Should I do conjugal rights? No, 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 no. Good evening. Ooh, 1.5 million views. Yes, 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 yes. Good evening, Mr. Chamber Warner. Why? You're looking a little stern today. <laughs> That's because, Grayson, we're presenting today a guide to the activity involved in the successful execution of one's conjugal rights in order to produce offspring. <laughs> yes. The whole business of conjugal activity is sordid and frightful, but it is at least short. <laughs> to help us illustrate conjugal obligations in an entertaining as... What does conjugal mean again? Conjugal, reacting to marriage or the relation of a married couple. Ah, of course. I, uh, of course. As well as informative way, we have the assistance of an attractive young lady. <laughs> Good evening, Mr. Grayson. Good evening, Mrs. Grayson. <laughs> Immediately after marrying a young lady, the tricky business begins of getting your wife to agree to go to bed. <laughs> yeah, anything. You won't be late, dear. It's only half past six. Oh. <laughs> Is it time for Peter Rabbit and his Mrs. Tiggy Winkle to go up the wooden hill to Bedfordshire? <laughs> and Willie Willie to take his tired Tim down the Yellow Brick Road to Slumberland? For <laughs> Pooh to lead his little piglet through the land of Nod and into the arms of the Sandman? <laughs> never, never, never attempt to use strong language in front of a lady in this manner. It's they have this down, the, the, weird, the weird editing, the perfect voice audio badness and then the crick crick crickle crackle cr 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 the crickle crackle leak cr film picture just, never, just shush never, never never attempt to use strong language in front of a lady in this manner it's indecent given time an atmosphere will flourish in which the conditions for conjugal unpleasantness will become possible happy darling Yes, darling. <laughs> Splendid. <laughs> the more foreign-minded of you might even consider sharing a bed. Hey, guys, was that an actual more common thing back in the day, or was it just because, like, it wasn't, it was, it was too, um, risque to show a couple laying in the same bed? Or was it actually more common to have, like, two twin beds? The remember minded of you might even consider sharing a bed. And remember, before you start, oh. it's not only a stiff upper lip you're looking for. <laughs> How to maintain not only a stiff upper lip. Number one, visual assistance. It may be of some help to use an assistance of a visual nature in order to encourage the gentleman's not only a stiff upper lip. Um... Never mind. I was gonna say words that I caught myself from saying, and I'm glad. That's a photograph of the Duchess of Arbroath without a hat on. Without Most a... invigorating! <laughs> Number two, stimulating chat. For some partners may find it invigorating to indulge in talk of a stimulating nature during the act of unpleasantness itself. A more stimulating chat on the home service earlier this evening, Mrs. Grayson. Most stimulating indeed, Mr. Grayson. Who would have thought the Princess Alice bred golden retrievers? Now that you are invigoratingly stimulated, you're ready for the act of frightfulness itself. Now it's time to have a stiff drink and get on with the ugly business in hand. Stiff, stiff. Well, now it's not going to work. It's going to be all this is your floppy. First attempt at beastliness. You may have some difficulty uniting your unmentioned. I need to learn to shut up. This is your first attempt at beastliness. You may have some difficulty uniting your unmentionables. Why not invent a coded language to prevent graphic references? <coughs> is that you, Mrs. Grayson? Yes. Has the train arrived in Paddington yet? No, I'm afraid it's in Colchester. Ouch. <laughs> I don't need to get that reference to get the joke. Final points. To many couples, a sense of humor in bed is most important. <laughs> now let 
see the whole ugly process oh, oh, in explicit Cap. detail. Now let's see the whole ugly process Pinky. in explicit detail. Ouch! Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> So there you have it. Next week, how to achieve conjugal unpleasantness in the poorer countries of the world where the women will <coughs> for a potato. <laughs>